I'm just gonna begin by asking guys about the kind of creative process at Pixar and when it comes to, to brainstorming ideas. In, in my head, I've got this idea that you all sit around this sort of table and you all just shout things out like, let's do one about dinosaurs or let's give emotions <laughs> to cutlery or, you know, just, and, and then, so how does it kind of work? How do you guys decide on what story you're gonna tackle next? Well, um, funny enough, I wasn't the original director on this. Bob Peterson was the original director and he pitched three ideas and uh, um, I wasn't there for that, but I know that he pitched one about the boy and dog story and, and one being the dinosaur, the boy and the dog being the, the human boy. And, and uh, in his pitch, that was kind of what it was in the beginning. And uh, um, he pitched it to um, John Laster and some of the other directors and they all kind of got excited about that idea. And it doesn't mean like, okay, go. It just meant like, okay, keep going, keep growing this idea. And so the uh, the process at Pixar is all about growth and evolution because you slowly start from a seed and then you start watering it and bring people on until it becomes something. Yeah, so how, how much has changed since uh, you sort of got on board? I mean, I imagine yeah. obviously the foundations were already kind of laid, but I mean, did you kind of start completely from scratch or build upon what had already been started? Um, 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 uh, essentially, it was, we restarted everything except the heart of it remained the same of the concept of just flipping the boy and dog story. but the world, the voices, the characters would all kind of be redone. I mean, there's something sort of endearingly sort of traditional about this movie. Yeah. It feels like the sort of, uh, the, the movies I grew up on. I mean, yes. the likes of kind of The Lion King or Bambi. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, was that what you were kind of vying for in this instance? That's something that we got really excited about was the simplicity of, of the story in terms of it's a, it's a real archetypal story, but that would allow us to kind of give us breathing room for the characters in the world. Yeah, and we, we made a, a creative decision not to have a lot of dialogue, so that also yeah. Had us very excited, and I, of course, I, I felt that the the relationship between the, the kind of lead two characters very much felt like the ones we have with our own pets. Was yeah. that what you were kind of trying to use to to get to the heart of this kind of relationship that we could the audience could then sort of relate to? Yes, absolutely. That was the actual beginning of it. But then, as we dug deeper in it and found the humanity in Spot and Arlo, boy, did it get much more emotional for us. Because at first it just started as that simple kind of like, oh, wouldn't it be cute or sweet that it would happen? Then as we started digging into um, how they would connect, it really opened up some interesting emotional possibilities. And Peter, I mean, of course, um, this is your first directing job in a feature length yes. movie yes. for Pixar. You've been involved in various projects for a number of years. Were you always kind of itching to get this opportunity? And you must have been so thrilled when it sort of came about. Um, um, uh, itching may not be the right word because like I was so excited about this, but it was at the time when I got the gig, it was about trying to keep the story going because the story was stuck and then, you know, wanting to kind of raise it, you know, it was like a kid. You're just like, oh, this kid is sick. How do we um, um, make it feel better and, 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 and raise it properly? And so that's what it became about more than anything. I just felt lucky that I got a chance to do it, you know. And I mean, I cried quite a lot watching this movie. And I was just wondering if you guys are able to get emotionally caught up in this or if you're almost too, close to the project for that to be the case? Or, I mean, can you watch The Good Dinosaur and Cry? Uh, uh, yes, and, and have, basically. <laughs> yeah. um, it, it re recently, I, I ended up uh, crying in a place I hadn't expected. But in one scene um, that was pitched early on, I actually cried the very first time I saw the pitch. And, um, and even to this day, I still, still get a tear in my eye when I see that. Yeah. I don't know, what about you? Yeah. No, it, 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 it grows in different ways. Moments that become emotional become emotional for different reasons. In the beginning, it's all about the relationship, but then after the film has been done, it's all been about the crew that helped make it. And so you just start to see these faces because everything is created in this movie. You know, nothing is for free. And I mean, the film looks incredible on the big screen, the kind of the landscapes in the background. Do you think this is the most ambitious Pixar I've ever been, visually speaking? It sure feels like I, I, it. It does to me as well. I mean, in terms of scope and, uh, and scale, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to, to, to you know, for example, frame a huge dinosaur and a little tiny boy in the same shot. There was a lot of technical challenges from purely a photograph uh, photographic point yeah. of view. And, um, and that epic landscape and effects and simulation and water, yeah. lot, lots, uh, lots of challenges. Yeah. So just finally, of course, um, there's been quite a few, uh, real inclination for sequels of late at Pixar. Well, can we expect to delve into the life of Arlo again? Because he's a character we would quite like to see again. Um, I, yeah, we haven't talked about it, but like, you know, yeah. life is completely unpredictable and so who knows? Yeah, yeah. We like to say we, we Barely got this one done. We really did. Yeah, we really did. <laughs> but you never know. I mean, people have wild imaginations at Pixar. We so. just hope that this film can connect, and uh, hopefully, yeah. people will enjoy this that journey. Would be, 
be a great problem to have. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you so much for your time. Today. Thank you we so much. It. Really appreciate Please, it. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!